Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Crossover. Today we're going to be talking about the Bible doesn't change, people change. So without further ado, and without wasting any more time, we're just going to hop straight into the verse that we have. And for this week, it is a little bit shorter actually. Actually, pretty short. Um, but it's very straight to the point and very clear. You know, there's, there can be no confusion about this. You know, and the verse comes from uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever That's it. That's the verse Very simple very straight to the point. You cannot be confused about this. It's 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 right there. You know, there's no hidden meaning. It's as it means it's as it says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever Jesus, God, will always be the same. I know is that a lot of people, you know, now, and this may step on some toes, you know, but <laughs> some people need to hear this. The Bible does not change. People change. People change in the fact that they think, you know, oh, society's changing. You know, society's changing, and the Bible is just old now, you know, and the Bible doesn't apply to now because, oh, that was back then. You know, no, that the Bible still applies to what is happening now. As the verse says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God doesn't change. God doesn't change just because, you know, oh, society changes and the world changes, you know, people change. Just because people change doesn't mean that God all of a sudden says, oh, you know, I know that this, is, this in the Bible has said, you know, that it's wrong. But, you know, now you guys have changed and you guys have, you know, grown. And now, now, now this is different, you know. No, that's not, that's not the case. God does not change. Society may change, yes. There's some things, you know, that change in society that aren't bad you know there are changes and advancements in society and some of these changes aren't bad but there are some ch oh excuse me <clears throat> there are some changes that are not okay that god clearly says in the bible these things are not okay and just because society changes doesn't mean that god changes doesn't mean that God all of a sudden says, you know, oh, okay, you know, these things are okay now, you know, because society changes and, you know, you know, whatever. That's not how we have to live. Yes, society changes, as I said, some changes aren't bad. But there are some changes that people, and I bet you can name a few changes, that people are saying, you know, oh, the Bible is, you know, old, you know, the Bible is, you know, talking about back then, you know, everything's changed now, you know, God doesn't view it that way anymore, you know. God says that he's the same. God says that he does not change. God says that he does not change his mind. We have to be careful that we aren't putting words in God's mouth. We have to be very careful. Because the Bible, we should be going off of what the Bible says. And the Bible is the truth. You know? The Bible does not change. Just because society changes and everything in this world changes doesn't mean that all of a sudden the Bible is obsolete and the things that are told in the Bible that are viewed as wrong are all of a sudden right that's not how it is people change the bible does not change god does not change it doesn't matter what changes in society god will not change he stands by his word he says this is wrong so it's wrong just because society changes and all of a sudden says you know oh this is okay now no it's not if the Bible says it's wrong, it's wrong. You know, and not talking about, you know, the people that are, that haven't accepted Christ in their life, you know, because 
that's just putting judgment, you know, but more so talking about the people that are Christians. The people that are Christians that are saying, you know, oh, everything changes, you know, you know, the world changes, you know, society changes, people change, and, you know, oh, the Bible was back then, you know, mainly talking about the Christians that are saying that. They should know better. We as Christians should know that the Bible says things that are wrong. And we as Christians should be standing by this. Not saying, you know, oh, society changes, the Bible is old, you know, the Bible is, you know, obsolete because, you know, it, it's old and it's talking about back then. You know, no, God does not change, the Bible does not change. People change, yes, but the Bible does not change. Have you ever opened your Bible and saw that there were a few words that were changed and different? No, you haven't. The words are all here. They do not change. You read the same thing over and over and over again, hopefully, when you read the Bible. <laughs> the words do not change. They say the same thing. We can't be saying that the Bible is talking about back then because it still applies. It still applies to our lives. Yes, society changes, people change, but the Bible does not change and we cannot make that excuse because the Bible clearly tells us what's wrong and what's right. You know? And again, you know, talking about mainly and really only the Christians because, you know, people that have not accepted Jesus into their life, you know, they they don't know the Bible. You know, and we can't cast judgment on somebody that doesn't understand. You know, and this isn't to belittle anyone, you know, or make anybody feel any less, you know, but this is just the truth. You know, think about it like a child. You know, when a child is, you know, when they're growing up, their parents teach them what's right and what's wrong. Otherwise, they won't know. We can't judge people for not knowing what the Bible says and not knowing, you know, what the Bible says is right and wrong. We can't judge. Because that's like, you know, waving the finger at a child who wasn't taught anything and saying, you did bad, when they were never taught. Again, not to belittle anyone, but... It's the truth. And, you know, talking about these the Christians that are saying, you know, that the Bible was talking about back then. No, it's not. It still applies. As I said, the words do not change. The words have been the same forever. The words have never changed. They have been the same and will remain the same. Because God does not change. The Bible does not change. Jesus does not change. Everything is the same. Just because society changes does not mean that all of a sudden the words in the Bible change and, you know, you go and read, you know, this verse and all of a sudden it says something different. That's not the case. The words are the same and they will always be the same. The Bible does not change. God does not change. So we cannot be saying that, oh, the Bible was talking about back then because it still applies. So, with this all being said, we are now going to have the verse of the week. So, just how would you like to give us the verse of the week? The verse of the week is from James chapter 1, verse 17. It says, Whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from God our Father who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. So, what I wanted to say about this is that God never changes. In the Bible, it even says that God never changes. The only thing that has changed is his accessibility. You know, and in the Old Testament, it says that people had to sacrifice things just to gain forgiveness from God, you know, and only high priests were able to go into the most holy place, which was where they could talk to God, you know, and now once uh, God sacrificed his son, we now have access to God and we're able to talk to him whenever we're able to ask for forgiveness, whenever we're able to pray to him, whenever and we can we just have more access to him yeah yeah just you know continue to 
read the word. You know, get knowledge from the word. You know, from the Bible. And as I said, you know, don't think just because, you know, society changes. That does not mean that the Bible changes. That does not mean is that God changes his mind. The Bible has the words that it has for a reason. They do not change. As I said, you never open your Bible and find out is that, you know, a few words were, you know, changed because God does not change. The Bible does not change. So, with this all being said, we are now going to have an opportunity for you to accept Jesus in your life and have a relationship with him. You're probably wondering, what does that do? Simple answer is, it allows you to go to heaven. A little longer answer is, there's one of two places that you go to when you pass. Either heaven or hell. There's no third place. There's no in-between. And you make the decision. You decide where you want to go. If you accept Jesus in your life and have a relationship with him, then you choose to go to heaven. If you decline the offer and you decline a relationship with God, the only other place that you are choosing is hell. Heaven is a wonderful paradise where there is no negative anything, there's no depression, there's no anger, there's no sorrow, there's no anxiety, there's none of these negative feelings in heaven, because that all comes from the devil. Hell is the complete opposite. It's torment, torture, suffering, uh, pain for all eternity. Forever. You're going to one of these two places forever. And you decide where you want to go. And you have to make that decision while you're alive. You can't, you know, die and then when you go to heaven or when you go to judgment, all of a sudden you're like, oh Jesus, you know, forgive me, God, forgive me. You know, it's too late. You know, you have to make the decision now. Decide what you want to do. Decide where you want to go. Because... In reality, we don't know when we're going to die. We could die in the next minute. We could die in the next hour. We could die in the next day. We could die in the next week, month, year. We don't know. We don't know when we're going to die. So, it's better to be sure that when you pass, you're going to be going to paradise forever. So, if you would like to accept Jesus in your life and have a relationship with him, then I want you to say this prayer with us. Dear Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for the good and the bad because I know everything works for your good. And dear Lord, I pray that you give me your Holy Spirit. May you fire up your Holy Spirit in me. I believe that you sent your Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sins and everyone else's. I believe that with all my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my soul. I give you my body. I give you everything, God. And I thank you for everything that you've done. I ask that you forgive me of my sins, of everything that I know that I've done and may not know that I've done. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, comment. Do all that. Stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We hope you have a wonderful, blessed, fantastic, amazing night, evening, whichever it is for you. And yeah, goodbye. Bye -bye.